guys, this is Sheetal here and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm gonna unbox a really cool action camera. It's the DP Power 4K action camera. So this is how the box packing looks and here's the picture of it. It's a 4K Ultra HD action camera. Here you can see some of its features. It has Wi-Fi support, it's waterproof up to 30 meters and it also shoots in 4K 25fps and 1080p 60fps. There's also anti-shake technology. It's not anti-SGL. I guess it's a printing mistake over here. Anti-shake technology is nothing but image stabilization guys. Now let's check out the back side of the box. Here also we just have the specs of the action camera. It has a 2 inch HD LCD screen, it's waterproof up to 30 meters and it has 170 degree wide angle lens. That's it guys, there's nothing else written on the box so let's unbox it and check it out. We get our action camera in this case, that's nice. And you can see the DB power branding over here. It's a hard shell case and the quality of the case is really good. It comes in this black and yellow color combination. I kinda like that. Okay, now let's open it and check out all the items that we've got in it. Whoa, there are so many items in it. Let me show you them one by one. Here's the action camera. You can see the DB power branding over here and here it says the 4K Ultra HD. It comes in this waterproof case. Let's keep it aside for now and check out the other items. Oh my god, there are so many things. Let me first remove them and place it on my table. So these are all the items that we've got in that case. We've got so many different kinds of mounts in it. There's also an additional battery. It's a 3.7V 1050mAh rechargeable lithium ion battery. This is the wireless wrist remote controller. You just have to wear it and press the photo or video button on it and it will automatically click photos or shoot videos in your action camera. We also get a monopod. That's really nice. The company is providing so many accessories for this action camera. The build quality of it is also good. And here's the action camera. Let me remove it from this case and show you. Oh my god, it's so tight. I just hope my nail polish won't spoil. Finally, there you go. This is how the action camera looks. It's available only in black color and here we have the power on off button and the charging status indicator. This is the up or down button and there's also a speaker over here. At the top we've got the shutter or select button and an LED indicator. Here we've got the micro USB and micro HDMI port, micro SD card slot and a microphone. At the bottom, we've got the battery slot. Now let me peel the sticker and turn it on. Oh no, the battery is low and also I have to insert a card in it. So first I'll charge it, insert a card and then continue with my video. I'm back guys, I've charged it and now let's turn it on and see the different modes we've got in it. At the bottom, we can see the battery life status. And this one is the video mode. This is the photo mode. There's also a burst mode a time-lapse mode, and this is the settings. Here we can adjust many camera settings like video resolution, exposure, photo resolution, burst photo, time-lapse, continuous time-lapse. There are also few general settings like language, date and time, screen saver, power save, and many more. Now let me show you all the video resolutions it can shoot in. It has 1080p 60fps, 720p 120fps, 4k 25 and also 2.7k 30fps. The down button can also be used as Wi-Fi on off button and you can also play back your videos or photos you've shot using the up button just like this. So here are some of the samples that I've shot on this action camera. This video clip was taken in 4K 25fps. The video quality was really good. The detail in the video was nice, the sharpness was good, the colors looked punchy and the dynamic range was also fine. It has a 170 degree wide angle lens and you can see slight distortion at the corners. The company says it has gyro anti-shake but it was not working that well. You can see shake in the video. The compression when shooting in 4K was very less. The bitrate in this mode was around 72 Mbps. This clip was shot in 2.7K 30fps. The video quality was nice but as you can see the image stabilization was not that good. The bitrate in this mode was around 59 to 60 Mbps. This clip was shot in 1080p 60fps. The video quality was okay but it was not as good as 2.7k or 4k. 
The bitrate in this mode was 22 Mbps. Just check out this clip. Now let's talk about the low light performance. This clip was shot in 2.7K 30fps. The low light performance was not that good for the price. I could barely see anything in the video and there was a lot of noise. Here are some photo samples taken from this action camera. It shoots photos in 12 megapixel resolution and the photo quality was average. The colors were nice, white balance was good and the dynamic range was also okay. But I felt the pictures were a bit over sharpened. Just check them out. Okay guys, now let's test the built-in microphone quality of this action camera. Currently I'm recording this in 2.7K 30 frames per second. So this is how the video quality looks. It was raining heavily yesterday, but today it's okay. The sky is not that clear. It's cloudy, but it's very windy. I just hope it won't rain today. It's really silent near my house. I can just hear birds chirping. Can you hear them guys? So that was a quick audio sample of this action camera. Do let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. For charging this action camera, you just have to connect a USB cable to the USB port and the charging status indicator turns blue. And once it's done, the indicator turns off. Coming to the battery life, it has a 3.7V 1050mAh lithium ion battery and the charging time was about 3-4 to four hours. While shooting with it in 4K, the battery lasted for about 50 minutes but as we are getting an extra battery, we can continuously shoot for about 1.5 hour to 2 hours. So that was my unboxing and review of this TP Power Action Camera. The build quality was nice, the video quality in 4K and 2.7K was really good. But in 1080p, the bit rate was low and the quality was average. The picture quality was ok, I felt it could be better for the price. It costs about 4,800 rupees and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. So that's it for today guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a video. See you in my next one.